What's up logical people, this is Amar. Today we are going to solve a very difficult puzzle called as 100 doors. There are 100 doors in a row, they all are initially closed. A person walks through all the doors 100 times and every time he toggles the state of specific doors. That means he changes the state of the door, if the door is closed he will open it and if it's opened then he will close it. In each walk he selects specific doors to toggle in the following manner. In his first walk he toggles all the doors in multiple of one. That means he toggles all the hundred doors and they all will become opened. In the second walk he toggles the doors in multiple of two. In the third walk he toggles the doors in multiple of 3. That means he will change the state of door number 3, 6, 9, 12 and so on. In the fourth walk he toggles doors in multiple of 4. This way he walks for 100 times. The puzzle is what door numbers will remain opened after 100 walks. Remember that initially all doors were in closed state. It's a difficult puzzle and to solve it you need to analyze it carefully and note down what you observe. I'll start with an example of random door number. Let's say door number 50. The person visits door number 50 on his walk 1, walk 2, walk 5, walk 10, walk 25 and walk 50. Because 50 is a multiple of these numbers or in other words 1, 2, 5, 10, 25 and 50 are the factors of door 50. Initially this door was closed. On walk 1 the person toggles the door to open it. On walk 2, he closes the door. On walk 5, he opens it again. On walk 10, he closes it. On walk 25, he opens it. And on walk 50, he closes it back. So what we observe here is that if the door number has even number of factors, the final state of the door will be closed. In this case, door 50 has 6 factors and that is an even number. So the final state of the door will be closed. And if the door has odd number of factors, then its final state will be opened. Now the puzzle asks us to find out all such doors which will remain open at the end of all 100 walks. So eventually we need to find out which doors have odd number of factors. One method is to manually write down all the door numbers and count their respective factors. But that's not a smart approach. The smart approach is to analyze the pattern of factors and draw a conclusion. Let's observe the previous example of door 50 once again. The factors are 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, 50. If I put a line at the center, I have 3 numbers on left and 3 numbers on right. The first number from left and the first number from right give the multiplication result as door number that is 50. The second number from left that is 2 and the second number from right that is 25 give the multiplication result as the door number. Similarly, third from left and third from right give the multiplication result as 50. This is the scenario of a door having even number of factors. But imagine a door number having odd numbers of factors. For example, a door number X having 5 factors F1, F2, F3, F4 and F5. I'll put the line in the center once again. F1 multiplied by F5 give the value of the door that is X. F2 multiplied by F4 give the same value X. And F3 is now alone in the middle. But we know that this middle number is also a factor of x. So it should be multiplied by any other factor from these numbers to get the value x. Since all other factors have already made a pair. 
So for this middle factor, the only available factor for multiplication is the middle factor itself, which gives the multiplication result f3 multiplied by f3 equal to the door number x. And what do you get when you multiply a number by itself? You get a perfect square. That means all the perfect square numbers have odd number of factors. Let's quickly check a few of them. 36 is a perfect square and it has 9 factors. The middle factor is 6 and when it's multiplied by itself we get 36. Similarly, 16 is a perfect square and it has 5 factors. The middle factor is 4 and when it's multiplied by itself we get 16. So these are the door numbers that are perfect squares and these will remain opened after 100 walks. It took me a very long time to prepare the explanation. Kindly comment below if you like the approach. And I really apologize for the delay in posting this puzzle but I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video and if you are new please subscribe to my channel and stay updated with a new logic every week. Till then give a try to these brain teasers. Also check out aptitude problems on my channel Logically Yours.